Cody. Yeah, lots of silver. <laughs> Sanitary dry bedding. They cuddle up next to each other. Since we put them in a smaller area, they're not pooping in there at all. They're coming outside to poop, which is kind of nice. Because it makes it to where I don't have to change that bedding every day. You guys are so good to me, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you cute little girls? Let's go see your feeder. I like to root up the dirt back here, which is fine, because this is where they're pooping, I guess. Maybe they're trying to bury it. I don't know. There's their feeder. This is mainly all ice that fell off the barn roofs up there. Still kind of falling a little bit. Let's see how thick it is up there, and some of that's fallen in front of this door. But now it can't get open. <laughs> and then I have to shoot through the fence here. But you can see there's a big old piece getting ready to fall off down there. So. And it just so happens to fall right in front of the doors. And it's ice, like right here. I haven't I haven't chipped this away because it's just it's so frozen and a lot of this is from like the very first storms. But I have kept a pathway where I can get this door open and I can get to their water which is heated. Anyway, that roof lifts up or you can get in there to change the bedding but like I said I haven't really had to do that getting ready to add some more right now just because it's been so cold and they have spread some of it around a little bit outside so getting ready to give them some more bedding so they stay good and warm in there we'll check on the minis eating out of a slow feeder they have a crap ton of bedding in here. That's their water for now because the automatic water is like this one in the stall next to them broke and it wasn't even in use. So um, they have to be separated during feeding because Cisco is the dominant one and he's a bully <laughs> with the food and Leo wasn't gaining enough weight so I separate them for a couple hours and give Leo some extra food so that he doesn't get bullied away from his food but then I come back and open this back up because they like to be together even though Cisco's a bully they love each other I'm going to open this, and this is their paddocks out here. They've been real kind to me in coming out here to poop and pee, so I haven't had a lot to clean up inside, which has been really nice. Um, they do get out of here every day in the indoor arena, though, regardless, because I can walk them there through the barn. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Pigs right over here I gave the <laughs> gave them a bunch of new bedding and they are just having a blast over there making making their nest they're really playful and they're siblings they like they love each other you can tell <laughs> they're really cute hi hi girls and then here's mr. shy guy Hi, Leo. Hi. Did you need to come outside and go potty? I'd be glad to step out of your way. Alright, so that's the minis. They've been fed and put back together <laughs> for the night. No longer separated. They usually both come in here and sleep. And this bedding material is really nice. Um, 
it just all clumps together and especially with these temperatures it uh, doesn't completely freeze but it freezes a little bit enough to pick it up all in one clump so it makes it kind of nice kind of like cat litter almost I just put the pellets in here because I don't like to get them too wet but normally you get them a little more wet than this and they turn into this like sawdust type material but I like to beef it up for them and as they step on it too it breaks them up I have gotten these wet just not as wet as normal because it's been a, a little chilly it's been below freezing and I don't want to ice up their whole bed so all right and that's the minis you guys are doing good see you later Leo we have a hose here, but we have no water to the barn right now. When we did, this was a lot handier. <laughs> um, but right now, I just have all these buckets full of water that I'm filling up from the house and keeping in here so they don't freeze. But I pack them around in the smaller buckets. I don't pack those big buckets around because they're really heavy. But I'll fill up the smaller buckets and the bigger buckets. This is the leak that we had, and everything you see on the floor is ice. The whole metal column down below the water bowl holder was caked in all of this ice, but that's actually less than half of it. I melted off with that portable heater and a couple blow dryers, because we have to get to that part in order to fix it that's but now um, the word is that I need to remove all of this ice because um, <laughs> they actually need to get down there the leak is below this was a horse water that wasn't even in use but the temperatures have, have consistently stayed well below freezing and more than what's normal for this area for a really long time with no real thaw you know in between which is what we're kind of used to you know snow and then a thaw and snow and then a thaw but that's it's not letting up so people's pipes are freezing and um, this was even heated I'm not sure of the whole mechanics of them but we didn't have any problems with the one that was working but we had to shut it off because we had to shut off water to the barn a whole entire barn because of this leak right here but when that's cleared up enough to where they can get that whole um, bottom column off which is now frozen in a few inches of ice at the bottom um, then they can fix it for us and I can get water back to my apartment and to the barn kind of dark in here sorry I opened up that door a little bit hopefully you can see but this is the snow plow and you can see on the back of the four-wheeler it's got four-wheel drive but it's also got chains and this thing does not get stuck it goes anywhere it does a really good job as long as you um, get right on the snow and keep up with it don't try to push too much at one time but it's worked really well around here it's just a little bit cold <laughs> at times on my face and my hands but I'm working on that remedy um, this is the manure spreader right there that you see with the snow in it that's some of the manure that I've cleaned out of stalls and paddocks but that's where we put that. Um, right next to it is a snowblower. This is brand new. I haven't used it yet. Uh, I tried to the other day and the augers didn't turn. So I don't know. I've never used a snowblower. I'm going to have to look it up and I might be doing something wrong, but it seemed like something wasn't working right. So I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, we have tons of straw bedding over there. 
This is where the horses, mini horses food is kept. We have a lot of that. This is the indoor arena where they get to hang out when the weather is really bad outside. And those aren't windows, so it will snow on the very edges. I mean, they're not glass, so um, it will snow on the very edges. But... And then my, my apartment is down here on the other end of the barn, which is why when the water's off to the barn, the entire barn, this is part of it. <laughs> Um, and my apartment's on the very end of it. That means I don't get water, too. We've got a thick layer of ice-packed snow. The first, the first storm, we didn't have any snow removal equipment. And then the owner came for Christmas with her kids, and... We got that um, situated. We got the snow blower and the snow plow back. The four-wheeler was actually in the shop getting the snow plow installed on it. But um, as you can see, the snow's pretty deep. Um, I've made a path around the house, and there's a very long driveway house is off that way but um, I've made a path clear around the barn because we have to have that for fire escape um, for safety reasons and um, there's a very long driveway that goes way down that way <laughs> way 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 down there <laughs> to the road and I do that one and then she has, we have the property next door, which is a rental property. Um, and I've been doing their driveway.